Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, welcome to our whiteboard session today on your project kickoff checklist. Have you ever been to one of those meetings where the project manager was totally unprepared and everyone was just lost on why they were there or even what the project was about? Well, here's a checklist that you can use to not, not only get you straight before your project starts, but also get you prepared before your kickoff meeting. So what would be on this kickoff checklist? So first of all, most project managers are dealing with uh, multiple projects. So we want to first identify what is the project name and who is the client. The client could be uh, some business unit internally or it could be an external client. You want to identify who is the project manager, that would be you, and the date. So here's some of the things that need to be done in preparation. So there's a lot of work to be done before you kick off. Number one is the contract, making sure you have a signed contract that authorizes you as the project manager to begin this project. Not only the contract for the project, but also contracts for other vendor partners and other uh, partners that you're going to need who are part of this project. Number two, clearly identifying and documenting the client needs and the priorities because as time changes throughout the project, those needs and priorities are going to change. So you want to document what those initial baseline needs and priorities are. Then you want to have your project plan documented. Documented and you uh, probably before the kickoff are going to have um, submitted that to different team members, your stakeholders, your change control board, just making sure that it's updated and revised and finalized before your kickoff. Then you want to be sure you identify your team member roles. So you have a register of who's on the team who's on there, what uh, organization do they represent, what role would they be playing for the project. Number five, the scope of the work. Identifying what's in scope and more importantly, what's out of scope. You want to identify the scope maybe if, they're in, if you're doing a phased approach, um, what will be done in different phases. The, number six is the project schedule, the timeline, the milestones for your project. Also identifying the project budget, so you know how much money you have to spend on what specific items. Number eight is uh, project reviews. Going ahead and having, since you have your schedule by this point, identifying when the project re reviews will be, including the milestones. Number nine is a big part, the project management processes. Uh, documenting how you're going to manage change, risk, the procurement of different items on your project, administration, any QA or QC, like quality assurance or quality control. And then number 10, the project manager expectations. Each project manager um, are, are different, but you need to identify what your expectations are, how you best work, how people can best communicate with you. Are you best to, like if you travel a lot, is it best to reach you by mobile phone, by texting, by email, and knowing when you're going to be available. So these are some of the items that make a, an effective checklist in preparing you for your project kickoff. If you need a tool that can help you with your kickoff, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.